Are you guys ready for the memes? You love meme compilations. Hi, how are you? My name's Beta, and today we'll be going over the best furry memes that you have sent me. So, I asked you guys for your memes. I need more memes. Furries, I need those memes. You guys sent me a lot of memes. I don't have any interesting non-offensive memes. See what I mean? See? See? What's with furries having offensive memes? Stop it! Memes aren't funny if they're offensive. Are you busy on Friday? Me. That entirely depends on the rest of the information you're about to give me. <laughs> I love Loki. He's like one of my favorite characters in the entire Marvel Cinematic History. I loved Loki the show, and I love him just as a character. His- look at that smile. Can you say no to that smile? Anyways, next meme. Welcome to Extreme Toothbrushing Round 1. Get harder, get out. Wait a minute. Now this first one is not for beginners, as you can see here. I love tutorials like these. You know that meme of like how to draw an owl? Start it with a circle and then step two is draw the rest of the fucking owl. I love that. This has that energy. <laughs> Good meme. Thanks for sending it in. Next one. Oh, pfft. Jesus Christ. He's showing off a lot here. The odd ones out. I'm not a furry. Also the odd ones out. To be fair though, ASMR channels do pay out very, very well. Didn't Amaranth do a bit of that? Like just ASMR with like the ear microphone? She's making the big bucks. Why can't the odd ones out or Chip do it? Like, look, he's got all the stuff going on. He's got the fursuit head, the bandana, the paws, the feet. Gamers love feet. So it's best of both worlds, gamers and furries. Also, I just realized I have a fursuit from the same maker as him. Never mind. Uh, don't worry about that. Good meme, though. What is this? You can't be goth and southern at the same time. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> Not Dennis! <laughs> I bet you feel really stupid right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I never even thought of it. That's the first time I've seen someone that's goth and southern at the same time. It's kind of crazy. Dennis was styling before any of us were. <laughs> Next meme. Oh no. Oh no. Foxhole. Persistent world warfare. This looks like a Call of Duty ripoff already. Not recommended. This game is not what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> This is like, I, I feel like an alternate version of this could happen if like, you know those military recruiters, if they gave you the incentive of getting a free fursuit if they recruit you or if you get recruited, and this could still be the resulting like image here. <laughs> To be fair, though, I feel like I would get debated into buying this game thinking it had to do with furries. Because <laughs> it's not what I thought it was going to be. They could just use these keywords as well, military recruiters, and they'd get people signed up immediately. And that's what sucks. Anyways, next meme. All right, first set. Time to be productive. That fursona has a lot of colors. Sorry, not sorry. Time to be productive. Eight hours later. This is the lockpicking lawyer. <laughs> I'm a failure. <laughs> That just reminds me of, of like the Arthur meme of just like, there's a mushroom on your shirt. Oh no, I'm a failure. <laughs> Does anyone remember that? Am I the only one? <laughs> I don't know like what generation grew up with Arthur outside of mine, but like, <laughs> oh no, I'm a failure. <laughs> Oh, man. This is also hella relatable, though. Like, I will wake up sometimes, very rarely, in the morning, in the a.m. Not at, like, 2 p.m. like today. And I'll be like, oh, man, time to get some work done today. And then I'll just play Destiny 2 all day. Or I'll watch the entirety of, like, Wendigoon's videos on YouTube and his secondary chant. And it'll be 10 p.m. I'm like, I am not a great content creator. I don't know why people watch me. And that'll be it. Same thing applies here. Whether it's productivity with school or work or anything. Mainly art, I guess in this case and i'll figure out how to lock which i still don't know how to do funny though oh god hey gloria scan this qr code oh <laughs> that's something i haven't seen yet a protogen playing rick astley that would be kind of neat i'd love to see that one of these days i want to see that at a con i've seen a protogen able to play doom on it what about a protogen that can play rick astley i do not envy the sanity of whoever protogen that is whoever's going to be wearing that all around a con space i will say that either way next meme oh i've seen this one i love this one I remember Fluke went over it. This is the first meme that I saw Fluke go over on YouTube. Please throw. No tape. Only throw. Only throw. There you go. Literally dogs every time. When do dogs not?
not do this? That's the real question. Dogs have only done this to me in the past. It's like, do you not want me to play? Fetch? What do you want? I think they're just scared you're gonna steal it from them and they're never gonna get it back. Guys literally want one thing and it's fucking beautiful. Yes, yes, yes I do. See, this is where I wish Amazon, like, was listening to me in this moment and would, like, recommend this to me. Like, example, I talked about this on Twitter the other day, how one of my friends was interested in getting a dual disc, you know, because he was getting into Yu-Gi-Oh, which is obviously the number one thing you need is a dual disc. I saw that he tweeted about it. I'm like, oh, dual disc, that's neat. And then I kept scrolling. Later on that evening, I was recommended to buy a dual disc on Amazon. Everything's listening to me. Why can't they listen to stuff that I actually want? Like this, like a big buff wolf boyfriend, which I already have that. I already have a wonderful wolf boyfriend who is actually pretty chiseled, not gonna lie. But like a big buff wolf who will cuddle me like this. Why can't I have that? Why can't like Amazon just give me this? They're listening to me as is. Big belly, big wolf, big bear man, bear man. There we go. I'll check Amazon later today. Yeah, this is, this is Presh, by the way. Oh my God, where are you going? Heaven or Ohio? <laughs> you know, if hell really is just Ohio, we're gonna have an interesting time in furry hell. Because if furries are going to hell, which is kind of inevitably the whole yif and hell thing, you know, it's down to happen, which in reality would be the best furry convention ever. If it ends up being Ohio, it's gonna be an interesting time, not in a good way. Got some takeout buffalo wild wings. Why can't I want food? I want some food and I don't have any food. Damn it. Also, my internet's taking a dive again. God damn it. The series of the devil in Ohio was pretty good in the end. What? Was it? We started watching it. It looked so boring. I'm sorry. Maybe the devil really is in Ohio. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Also, yeah, my internet's taking a bit of a dive. You know, mm -hmm. sorry about that. I don't know why now. Why is my internet doing this? Hello? Hello? Interwebs? Comcast, don't you fail me. Don't, don't you fuck this up. Oh, this one's a classic. I founded my own company and I'm a director general. I'm a happily married man and my kids are great. I'm a professional photographer and I enjoy my job. I caught a pigeon. That's me. See, that's me. I could be any of these other things. I could especially be this, you know, right now as a furry, but nah, this is, this is me. Also, he's got a flannel, which is... 10 out of 10, you gotta love flannel. Also, I didn't realize until now the presumption of this meme being that furries are just everywhere. Like furries are literally running companies and running businesses, keeping things afloat. That's why if furries were just Thanos snapped off this planet, we'd have a couple of problems. Like the world would kind of stop for a little bit. The entire IT industry would take a dive. It's kind of crazy. I didn't know that this meme had some like sub lore, sub context to it. I thought it was just funny because of the guy who caught a pig. That's pretty cool. But I didn't know that any of these would, you know, stop things from functioning, stop the world from running. That's funny. Moving on. Oh, no. What? A... <laughs> of course it's on Imgur. Oh, my God. Don't mind me. Just stealing the meme above. I've never seen a furry level meme of, like, stealing this next meme. Never seen that. Shout out to birds except seagulls. True, seagulls are mean. I remember fighting for my life against a seagull once. All just for a hot dog. The age of three. Good times. But yeah, I, I, I kind of like this. I've never seen a furry stealing a meme before, so that's kind of neat. Also, I don't know what's going on here. I don't really want to know, though, so yeah, keep it that way. You know, I feel like these are furry memes and not just random memes that y'all sent me. I feel like some of them are, but the ones that aren't furry memes, I'm going to be honest, are very offensive and not great. Like, that shit wouldn't survive YouTube, so it's kind of funny to see that most of the filtered out good memes that I found are furry memes. Isn't that weird? Maybe just regular memes nowadays are more offensive than they need to be. Or maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places. Maybe that's the problem. I'm asking Twitter. I shouldn't be asking Twitter. Nice to meet you. My name's Reed. Oh, like deer backwards. That's funny. Oh, oh. No, I never even thought of that in the first place, you know? You know, see, that was me when I realized that the odd ones out and I had the same fursuit maker. That was me when I realized that. I realized that I'm like, oh, I didn't intend for this to happen, but people are going to think that I did. I can already imagine the comments right now. Wow, Beta, you really went out of your way to get the same fursuit as another popular furry? Yikes. Like, <laughs> I can already imagine people like flooding into the comments with that. I can already imagine the upset children or people with way too much free time and terminally online already commenting that or trying to cancel me over that, which go for it. Do it. Do it. That means more traction for me. Do it. Cancel me. Come on. You're doing me a favor. <laughs> oh, man. Either way, moving on. Nobody. Greek furries. Oh, Omega. Wumbo. Omega.
I, I now know the Greek alphabet. It's not like my name is based on any of the Greek letters. No, not at all. Not by any means. No, sir. Me playing video games to cheer up. Incoming nine <laughs> lost streak. Oh my god. No. Oh, this was me when I was into Valorant, by the way. Awful time. Horrible times. Oh, man. Incoming nine lost streak. You know, maybe an online game isn't the best thing to, like, wind down or to cheer yourself up with in video games. Maybe, maybe online stuff where, where, where like, 15-year-olds frequent the game. That's something I maybe shouldn't, you know, play. Anyways, next set of memes. Oh my god. God. You ever remove just one thing from an outfit and it changes the look completely? Yes, I've accidentally done this before. Hurry the fuck up on the next meme, or how about I don't and I take it the pace that I want to, and you can shut the fuck up or go away. Your choice. You got two options here. Or you pay me to do quicker. I'm not- look, this- this is free entertainment. I'm gonna go at the pace that I want to. I'm gonna go at the pace that I want to. <laughs> how about that? How about that for your memes? <laughs> Life can be tough. Here take this orb. It's a fox orb. I have one of those, but it's not a fox. Hold on, let me grab it, because he is precious. Look at, look at this little Aussie ship orb. Look at how precious he is. He's so cute. I love it. Look at him. He wants to say hi. There you go. Ma'am, why aren't you in your government-mandated fursuit? It's the only thing that can keep the virus out. Wonderful. You know, this feels like a Black Mirror episode now that I look at it. It's just a Black Mirror episode. It's kind of weird. You know, you need a government mandated fursuit to keep the virus out. It sounds like a Cloverfield paradox sort of thing, but it also seems like a uh, Black Mirror episode. Kind of crazy. Oh my god, not this. I think I've heard this one before. Bro's about to start playing the clarinet. What is that drink? That looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Nothing about the bikini bottom slushy. The bikini bottom slushy? Nothing about the bikini bottom slushy. I love that. I love that laugh. Not laugh, cough. I hope they're okay, because I've done the same thing where water's gone down the wrong pipe and it's just not fun. <laughs> You lose consciousness and you wake up in a Spongebob cartoon episode. <laughs> <laughs> See? The process is starting. It's starting. It's begun. Takes a sip. That's all that's needed. <laughs> yeah, that's enough memes for one day. <laughs> But either way, I think I'm gonna wrap things up. I'm tired. That last meme kind of killed it in a good way. I'm like, God damn it, these dad jokes. Oh, I don't need these dad jokes in my life, even though they're kind of neat and I think they're okay. I'm tired. I want to get some rest. And I also need food. Food would be really, really nice right now. So might go and do that.